since 1948 in Burma, uh, they have been persecuted, mass killings, rapes, murders, detention, forced uh, land acquisition. Uh, and the United Nations and all of the major human rights organizations in the world, they go to the extent of saying that the Rohingya are one of the most persecuted minorities in the whole world. We hear a great deal about communal violence. It wasn't communal violence, it was planned violence. It is quite clear from, according to the testimonies and the people that I talked to while I was on mission in the country, it was clear that this, all this was organized. The government of Myanmar wants the world to believe that the violence that took place in Rakhine State in 2012 and since has been spontaneous, communal, um, or um, an unintended consequence of democratization. Because let me tell you, if the Rohingya were the ones perpetrating the violence against the Arakanese, we, we would know about it. The Security Council would be dealing with it. We know this. This is the double standard which operates in the world in relation to foreign policy. According to the UN report, there were consistent accounts that Rakhine from other areas were brought in to reinforce local communities prior to attacks. The internal UN report cited abuses committed not only by local Rakhine, but also state security forces, including the military, the border forces, and the police. <laughs> It's targeted against the Rohingya in a very clear fashion. It's not that anyone in the Rakhine state is being raped, it's that Rohingya women are being targeted. What happened in Mektala was a targeted attack on Muslims. Not, not Rohingya, but Muslims who had been a part of the, the community in Mektala. Most of the killing has been done in the most barbaric way. You know, people haven't got uh, arms as well. And also what's interesting is this is how we know the security forces are in collusion with the Arakanese against the Rohingya Muslims. Why? Because many of the deaths have been from gunshot wounds. Perhaps the strangest and the most revolting part of this massacre was that it was filmed. It was filmed by perpetrators themselves to show how proud they were of, of what they were doing. You can see police there, present at the scene, where people are being killed. And they're armed as police, and they're not doing anything. The regime of Tencent is prepared to use the hate speech for the government's own ends. Uh, and that is to marginalize, segregate, uh, diminish the Muslim population inside Burma. It's part of a genocidal process. When I look at that document, what I see is government officials essentially trying to create a threat where a threat doesn't actually exist. When we see a document like that, we get very concerned that uh, various authorities are working to incite violence against the Muslim population. There is a strong case to be made that uh, there are political forces at play, state forces at play, fomenting anti-Muslim sentiment, fomenting violence, and in the case of Rohingya, fomenting violence that could amount to the crime of genocide. As you watch this, innocent people are being murdered in Myanmar. Whole villages are being burned to the ground. The Rohingya Muslims in Western Myanmar have been discriminated against for decades, but inter-community violence has surged over the last two weeks. A serious humanitarian crisis is imminent. According to UN sources, more than 140,000 people have fled to the border of Bangladesh, barely escaping with their lives. 400,000 Rohingya Muslims are still trapped in conflict zones in Western Myanmar at risk of serious humanitarian rights abuses. The Bangladeshi border camps are struggling to cope with the influx of refugees and basic necessities like food, clean water, shelter and medical equipment are all in short supply. Overcrowding and a lack of sanitation facilities will create an environment ideal for the spread of disease. The time to act is now. Our brothers and sisters in Myanmar are experiencing unimaginable suffering. Thousands of families have been forced to leave everything behind after witnessing unspeakable horrors. For just £65, you can provide a hungry family with enough food for a whole month. Donate online at justgiving.com forward slash Burma or visit 
www.taskforcegm.org. Make a difference today.